guys welcome back to my channel is your girl Lupita owner and creator of Maya's creations if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the little bell to get notified every time one of my videos goes up and let's get into the video okay guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this cup right here it's the rainbow leopard print and my cup still needs one more coat of epoxy so i'm going to be doing that at the end of this video the materials you're going to need today to make this cup is going to be a um white prepped tumbler of your choice i like the skinny tumblers but you can pick any kind of tumbler basically you are also going to need your rainbow glitter colors my glitter is from the glitter guy I, I i get asked that question a lot what glitter i use i use the glitter guy you're also gonna need mod potch i use the water base sealer i also use the one that is um dishwasher safe i think it's the blue one you are going to need black acrylic paint palitos so you can stir it medicine cups for your epoxy and for your mud potch and you're also going to need brushes and your two-part epoxy also please 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 guys don't forget that when you're working with epoxy that you are working in a ventilated room because the epoxy um, it releases a lot of fumes and that can be very dangerous for your health so make sure that you are wearing gloves and that you have a respirator on you um before yeah. we get started this is this process yeah. takes about yeah. one to four yeah. days to complete from yeah. from start to finish so the first part of my video i i actually taped it a couple days ago and i forgot to switch my camera so you're gonna see a little um turning mm -hmm. during the video so don't please don't yeah. mind that and yeah let's get to it i do want to say that my design was inspired by stardust creations she is an amazing tumblr maker she has a instagram um, account she does not have youtube but i will leave her instagram account right here so you can go check her out and yeah i just wanted to give her some credit for this design because she did make this one and a lot of my clients or customers do like when i recreate her designs and i am more than honored to do so so here you go this is one of her designs let's get to it hey guys we're gonna start with a clean prepped tumbler i did a light layer of epoxy now we're gonna grab our black acrylic paint and we're gonna mix it in our mod podge the reason we are adding some black paint is so our leopard prints are brighter so when you're adding the glitter it doesn't um, get loose it shows more and you're just gonna mix it until you feel it's completely mixed in your match podge I'm gonna go ahead and open my glitters so I can have them ready. And we're gonna begin by making C shapes with our mix. So you do C shapes and then I also do either dots or lines underneath my C shape. I do two, sometimes I do one, it just depends on how I feel the design is looking. So I'm going to do this in a diagonal order. So as you can see, I'm just applying the Mod Podge in C shapes.
I just did one there because I thought it looked nice. Sometimes I just do one, one little C shape. And I also do two row two rows of um, leopard prints at a time and then I do my glitter. So I'm just sprinkling the glitter over my leopard prints. And I give it a little tap so that extra glitter falls off into my paper. And I'm gonna continue doing this th all the way around until my the bottom half of my cup is covered. As you can see, I am done covering the bottom half of my cup. I'm just adding the last um, section of glitter. And then once I'm done, I'm going to give it a little tap and I'm going to let it dry for about an hour. And then I'm going to spray it with a clear sealant and let it dry again. We're going to start with our rainbow. So we're going to add the rainbow to our leopard prints and we're going to get our regular Mod Podge and we're going to start uh, filling in the inside of our print. And I do it in a diagonal way again, all the way down across. I do one line and then on my second line, I only do half of the inside of the leopard print. So I can have like a fade in into my next color. So here I'm just showing you, I'm doing half of the second line and I'm wearing my purple. I'm going to start with my purple and just sprinkle it in on top of the Mod Podge and again tap it so the extra glitter falls off. my fan was blowing my glitter so i had to turn it off now we're moving into the next color and i'm going to start with um the half again going diagonal feeling that half left from the purple and that's gonna fade into my pink Just grabbing my pink here and again doing some sprinkle on top of that mud patch make sure, making sure it's completely covered and this time I'm all I'm doing two lines so it's gonna be the half from the purple the complete line and then the next line it's another half of pink as you can see I did a half and we're gonna do this through all uh, throughout the cup i'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this section it's just me filling in the leopard prints again same method doing one full one half and uh, yeah just keep watching 
I do get us asked a lot why don't I just um, cut the leopard prints out of vinyl and place them on the cup instead of drawing them in with um, black paint and glitter but I actually love the effect that it gives when I actually draw them in so I mean that's the way I like to do it but you can give it a try try both ways and let me know which one you like I grab an extra clean brush and I just started brushing off that extra glitter that was around my leopard prints. And once I'm done, I'm going to transfer my glitter to my little um, bowl and then I'm going to go outside and spray my, my tumbler with clear sealant and let it dry for about an hour. So my cup has been drying for about an hour. Um, now we are going to get ready to epoxy the cup and what you're gonna need for the epoxy is going to be, of course, your two-part epoxy, like this. You are also gonna need your 3M mask and your gloves. And if you have long hair like mine, please make sure you put it up in a bun because trust me i have done epoxy with my hair down and i have gotten epoxy on my hair and i don't want that to happen to you guys it is very hard to get the epoxy out of your hair and i totally hate it also when you are working with epoxy make sure that your windows are open that your kids are not in the same area that you're working with your epoxy that your animals is not are not in the area of your or your work area um, you want to keep them away because the epoxy fumes are very harmful for them. And with that being said, let's get into the epoxy. I'm going to start by mixing equal parts of epoxy from part A and part B. And you mix it for about five minutes until your um, epoxy is clear. It's going to be foggy at first, but that's okay. It's going to be, it's going to turn clear after you've mixed it very well. Um, again, the bubbles, don't worry about the bubbles. We can deal with them once it's on the cup. Um, we can use a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. And I pour my um, epoxy right over my cup and then I just go um, left to right with um, my gloves. Making sure I cover my entire cup and I I usually do like a very good amount on my first coat of epoxy so just left to right making sure it's completely covered and then once it's covered we'll let it spin for about 24 hours hey guys so I came outside to sand down my cup to get rid of any of the um, bumps or rough edges make it smooth so i can do another coat of epoxy um outside it's better to do any of the sanding because of course you're it's completely ventilated um you don't get as much of an exposure i'm also wearing this mask this mask protects you from the dust um it does have the little filters so this is the one i use when i'm sanding in, sanding sanding down my cup um, I know a lot of people do use the three M's and that's totally fine. That's their way of doing it This is my way of doing it, especially because I'm outside. So let's get to it let's. And yeah, I use this little block sanding blocks. I find them at the Dollar Tree um, But you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, um, any of your hardware stores you find them there, so you just give it a good sand down, get rid of all these rough edges. And I do keep it away from me as well. And don't forget that after you sand your cup down, that you give it a good wash 
to get rid of all the dust and that that way your epoxy doesn't get any bubbles or dimples so you want to make sure your cup is super clean and free of any debris So my cup pretty much smooth smooth now let's go back in there and give it a wash and give it another coat of epoxy hey guys this is my final product i love how it turned out if you want to leave me a comment do so in the comments below if you like the video give me a thumbs up this is it for my tutorial i will see you on my next one have a great day Bye.